Help ball, alternating possession, gives the ball to the Panthers.
Battle number 10 of the Cavaliers, Haley Parker, her first, the team second. Foul number 51 of the Cavaliers on a knee for second, the team fourth. Okay. Anna Ziegler at the line for the Panthers. Malia McIntyre enters for the Panthers. Foul number 10 of the Panthers, Leah McIntyre, her first, 
the team for Foul number 25 for the Panthers, as well as player of her first, the team second. Eliana Andrzejewski at the line to complete the three points. Foul number 23 of the Panthers, Jocelyn Kane, her first to team four.
Foul number 31, the Cavaliers, Amanda Harrington, her second. Panthers are in the bonus. Jocelyn Kane at the line for the Panthers. Foul number 24 of the Panthers, Brooklyn Dillman, her first, team first of the quarter. Brooke Davis at the line, shooting two.
this year, the Panthers, Avery Hazelby, her first, the team second. Giselle Villegas is line, shooting two. Thirty second timeout, Panthers. Foul number 32 of the Panthers, Chloe Weaver, her first, the team's third. Eliana Andrzejewski at the line for the Cavaliers.
ball with the Panthers. Second timeout, Panthers. Number 20 of the Cavaliers is LBA gets her first, the team second. Number 24 of the Panthers, Brooklyn Dillman, her second, the team four.
Battle number 20 of the Cavaliers of Del Diego. Her second, the team's third. Foul number 15 of the Panthers, Avery Hazelby, her second, team first of the third quarter. Foul number 24 of the Panthers, Brooklyn Dillman, her third, team second. Foul number 15 of the Panthers, Avery Hazelby. Her third, the team's third.
Battle number 40 of the Panthers, Hannah Dickler, her second, the team's fourth. Final number 10 of the Cavaliers, Haley Parker, her third, the team's first of the quarter. Foul number 40 of the Panthers, Hannah Ziegler, her third. The team's fifth. Heliana Andrzejewski at the line for the Cavaliers.
foul number 44 of the Cavaliers. I'm on for Adessa Bar, her first 15 seconds. Brooklyn Dillman at the line for the Panthers. Held ball, alternate possession, give the ball to the Panthers. ball. Alternating possession. Give the ball to the Panthers. Foul number 20 of the Cavaliers is LBA is her third, the team's first of the fourth quarter.
of the Cavaliers. Foul number 20 of the Cavaliers is Elle Viegas, her fourth, the team's second. Cavalier foul number 20 is Isabel Viegas, her fifth personal foul. The team third.
Foul number 44, the captain by Von Torres Escobar, her second, the team scores. violation on the Cavaliers.
Cavalier, number 42, Eliana and Jesse, her first team spins of the quarter. Characters are now on the bonus. Chloe Weaver at line 32. So we're going to get our national anthem and uh, get our starting lineups and get underway here from John R. Nelson Gymnasium. By the way, Jim looks beautiful. Madeline Hamilton. At guard, a 5'8 senior, 
senior, number 30, Alexa O'Brien. And forward, my six freshman, number 40, Brooke Davis. And then forward, my one junior, number 51, Amaya Williams. The co-head coaches for the Lady Cavaliers are Adam and AJ Lee. room but now now with the remodel of uh, the entire well definitely the gymnasium but also uh, the high school I guess in general uh, we added a, a full-time training room and so that room was open so now it's called the Cavalier Spirit Spot. All right the starter Stricker Hopper McKeg Hathaway McGrew for the Panthers Hathaway and Williams here for the tip. Sieber, Hamilton, O'Brien, Davis, and Williams. And it's going to be. Right away or travel. So the turnover for the Cavaliers. Gives the ball back over. A little full court pressure here by Culver. Stricker going to get it up ahead. Williams gets a hand on it. Gets it over to Hathaway. Hath Williams on Stricker. Clears it over, McKaig, right wing, three, in and out, the rebound. Alex O'Brien there. It's it over to Sieber. A little trap action looking like there from the Panthers. They're going to extend that 2-3 zone a little bit. Tipped away, controlled by Hamilton. So that 2-3 zone here for the Panthers as we start off. Williams kicks it out to Sieber. Hamilton up top, McGrew. So we got McGrew out top here on this zone with Stricker. With all the post play uh, at the uh, at the high post by Amaya Williams, it's almost turning the the uh, two three into a two one two or a one three one. Right, they're uh, they're following her up there. Good pass there. That shot is off the mark. Stricker cross court, McKaig three pointer, no good. And it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be Culver ball, 6.41 to go here in this first period. No score between the Cavaliers and the Pioneer Panthers. So Panthers uh, picking up a little three quarter court pressure. Sieber gets it up ahead to Amaya Williams. What's the uh, over under on jump balls tonight? Uh, let's go six. Six, okay. What do you take? I'll probably take the over. The over? Okay. Boys basketball, probably not. Girls basketball for sure. Yeah, that one's going to go out, and it's going to be another turnover here for the Cavaliers. So a couple turnovers here to start things off. And Coach's nieces are going to pick up here the uh, full court press. And Stricker loses it off of her foot. Hamilton takes it in for two. Or O'Brien, sorry. Alex O'Brien there. Yep. So the turnover and the Cavaliers turn it into points. We got a foul? Looks like it's going to be on Sieber. It, it is. is. First foul of the game is going to be on number 10, Grace Sieber, for the Cavaliers. 5.49 to go here. Cavaliers in front, 2-0. Okay, up top to Hopper. Hopper, the runner in the paint, shot off the mark. The rebound, and there's number one on the jump ball list. So that will be the Panthers on that jump. Yeah, maybe I was a little under on that. I'm, I'm starting to think maybe six was. at least was, gone 10. Yeah. It's 5.37 in the first quarter. And Sieber with the block on McKay. And Williams steps into the passing lane. She's got an open lane to the basket. And Amaya Williams puts in two off of the turnover. Here's so the Panthers, though. Turnover's costly here for Pioneer. Again, two turnovers, two buckets for the Cavaliers off of those turnovers. 
McGrew, and that one, uh, Hamilton loses it. Hopper takes a long three. Rebound to Davis. Sieber might have took some steps there, got away with it. O'Brien for three. Almost jams it, but uh, it falls down. I've never really seen that. Knocked away by Williams. Another turnover for the Panthers. Third turnover already here in this first quarter. Coach Barry doesn't like what he's seeing there. He's going to get some subs down from the bench. It's going to be out of bounds. Okay. Did she get pushed there? I no, didn't, I they. Didn't see what happened? Uh, it went out off of Culver. He initially called it back to Culver, but then he realized that he was. So two freshmen here, Jocelyn Kane and uh, Lois Lair, checking in for the Panthers. Lair gets it in to Kane. Good defense there. I think it was Sieber got a hand on that. Very experienced, well, uh, very good officiating crew tonight. State championship level crew, and they're letting both girls play quite physical, it seems like, especially after the JV game where it seemed like nothing went unnoticed. McKaig going to try the left side. Mia McKaig, good for three. Panthers on the board. There's some full court pressure. These two freshman guards here, Justin, they are quick for Back the Panthers. Side. And if that wasn't tipped, it's going to be a turnover. Good pressure there by the Panthers, forcing the turnover. 3.37 to go here in quarter number one. Culver leads four to three. Tipped by Sieber, she'll oh, come away with the yep, stepped out of bounds. So that play there, that always throws me off on the on the stats. Is that a turnover with the turnover, or is that just a, a tip out of bounds? That she really never oh, had I think, possession. I think, I think that's a turnover. Two turnovers, though? I think so. Yeah? She was heading back the other way. Okay, so that would be four on each team there. I'm going off of uh, your stats there. Lois Lair, number 22, is a cousin to Haley and Adeline Kripe. Three-pointer off the mark. Stricker, though, gets her own rebound. And can't get it to go on the second attempt there. Backside there to Davis. Nice work there, breaking that pressure. That was a great play. Perfect what you do, you get it into the middle and then a great pass there from Williams to Davis and a great conversion by the Cavaliers. You were, you were talking about this being the third game for the for the Panthers. The uh, Lady Cavs are five, game five or six. Uh, seven. Uh, seven. Yeah, this is their seventh. I think they've seen full court pressure all seven games. Oh yeah. And most likely a 2-3 zone. <laughs> Alex O'Brien. O'Brien has four, and it's an 8-3 advantage here for the Cavaliers. Kane will lose it out of bounds, so the turnover bug that uh, has really plagued this Pioneer team is here again and at John R. Nelson. There's five turnovers now for the Panthers here in quarter number one. Still have 2-12 to go in the quarter. Backside, look backside. Ah, it was there. Finally gives it to her, but that'll be Pioneer. Oh, nope. What uh, did I, I say? think Kane might have got a hand on that one late. Foot on the line, shot off the mark. The rebound, Lair and Williams. Jump ball will be Cavalier ball. There's two. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to be way under on that six. I'm at six per half, Justin. Oh, see, okay. Please <laughs> repeat the 
Isn't that what you asked me, how many per half? Yeah, I think so. Gracie Hopper comes in. It's going to be tipped out of bounds, so the Panthers will keep the possession. Minute 48 to go. Of course, the, the Cavaliers returning the favor here with the full court pressure on the Panthers. Lair just inside the three point line for Lois Lair. Again, here, nice play into Williams. If nothing else, they broke the pressure. Didn't quite get the uh, results they had on the last play. Deep three pointer, and the bank is open for O'Brien. She has seven for the Cavaliers here in the quarter. And another turnover. Tipped away, good tip there. Kane able to slow down that fast break. So it will be Culver taking the ball here on the right baseline. See what kind of trickery Coach Nice has drawn up. You can hear Sieber and Hamilton can't handle it. It's going to go out of bounds. So another turnover, number five for the Cavs. Kane three pointer, no good. Rebound saved by oh. Stricker. Rattles in and out. Hopper rebound, and she's going to go to the free throw line as she gets fouled on the shot. Be on Davis, her first, only the second team foul, only the second foul of the game. That will send Gracie Hopper to the line, shooting two for the Panthers. First one is off the mark. One of two for Hopper. Five-point advantage now for the Cavaliers as we approach half a minute to go right. here in the first quarter. Panthers doing a better job of getting into a recovery position out of the, out of the press. Sieber back up top, resets the offense. I don't think you want to leave O'Brien open if you're uh, the Panthers right there. Gave her a little bit too much space. Hathaway gets a hand on that, tipped out, save. Ah. And it's going to be a foul on Stricker, I believe. That'll be her first. Team at first with 9.3 to go here in quarter number one. Williams gets around Stricker, shot off the mark. Shot at the buzzer is no good after one here at John R. Nelson. It is Culver 11, Pioneer 6. We'll take a break. Come back with second quarter here in just a moment. Welcome back here to John R. Nelson Gymnasium. It is the Cavaliers in front, 11-6 after one. And Alexa O'Brien, Justin, seven points for the Cavaliers. Brooke Davis with two, Amaya Williams with two. For Pioneer, Hopper has one, McKaig has three, and Layer has two. So we talked about the battle between uh, Sieber and Stricker. Both of them held scoreless there in that first quarter. Yeah. And this one will come down to a, uh, to a defensive battle. And, and I think the, you know, the Lady Panthers are putting, putting a little bit of pressure. And the uh, Lady Cavs have, have seen pressure all season long. So the offensive side of the ball um, looks like most of Culver's opportunities have come off of, off of you know, defense being out of position rather than uh, you know being able to, to gain shots. So if Pioneer decides to go away from that, just get back in their in their defense, I think they would see a, a little bit different uh, little bit different situation occur for shot opportunities. That's gonna be a foul on Hamilton on Stricker and she was shooting behind the arc so she's gonna go to the free throw line. 
to shoot three. First team foul of the quarter here for the Cavaliers. Stricker gets on the scoreboard with that first free throw. Makes it 11-7. She has two more. Uh, what? Yeah, that's not right. That should be another. Yeah, they're going to talk about it. Jimmy's going to talk about it. She should have. She was behind the three-point line, definitely. Oh. Coach Barry might be confused too. <laughs> well, I'm, yeah. So they give her two shots, and now she picks up her second foul on that rebound play. So see how that turns out. That was, uh, I mean, she was, a, she was three feet behind the line on that one. Pass up ahead to Kane. Sieber's going to come up with this steal. I wonder if that's one of those weird situations where because play continued without being noticed, if that if they can't go back and fix it since there was a foul. I don't know. That's You would think it was quick enough. It's not like they went down and scored. Yeah. I, I don't know. It would be a, one of those questions you'd have to ask the officiating crew. If maybe they didn't realize that it was behind the arc, or I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, costly foul there for Stricker now with two. She went most of that quarter with only uh, picking up that one foul. Four-point lead here for the Cavaliers with 7.18 to go in the first half. Hamilton's going to set things up here for Culver. Kane gets in there and gets the steal. Kicks it over McKay, right wing. Three is That's good, good for Mia McKay. She has six. And that cuts the Cavalier lead to one, 11 to 10. And pressure goes away here. Williams, good defense there by Kenzie Hathaway. Webb gets the rebound. Keg's going to bring it up here for the Panthers. A little miscommunication there between Kane and McKeg. Another turnover. Down inside to Davis. Nice play there. Davis just not able to convert. Kane gets the rebound. And unfortunately, she's going to go out of bounds with it. Didn't quite get control of that ball. Lois Layer going to check in for Kane. 5.50 to go here in the first half. Be Cavalier ball. Cavs in front, 11 to 10. 4-0 run here for Pioneer in this second quarter so far. And it's going to be kicked out of bounds by the Panthers. Looking for a uh, lane there against that 2 3 zone. Good defense. Ah, almost a Close turnover there. there. Yeah, Davis did a nice job of recovering. Back inside, she drives the baseline. Hathaway, I think, got a piece of that one. Coming here, looks like Hamilton. That uh, will be Maddie's second. 
team's second here of the quarter. Hathaway will trigger here on the near side. Baseline, oh, nice yeah. pass. Hathaway, though, can't put it in. Davis, Davis with another rebound. Good job by McKeg there, drawing the defense and finding the open player. Hamilton Sieber's got an open three here on the right wing. She's going to be long on that one, and McKeg's going to let it go out of bounds. It'll be Pioneer ball. And the pressure here from the Cavaliers. Yeah, body foul there. That's going to be on Hamilton, I believe. That's Hamilton. That is her third. It is. That's number three on Hamilton. Here with 4.17 still to go in the first half. So it's going to send uh, Hamilton to the bench. And coming in is going to be Giselle Villegas. I have that as the first sub of the game. Is that, that is. Yeah, I was for just the Cavaliers. That. And jump ball, travel, nope, travel, okay. Hoping it was a jump ball. Yeah. I don't know, it's halfway through the second quarter and we've only yeah. had two so far. Yeah. Sieber, and that one's going to go through. And be another turnover here for the Cavaliers. Deep three. Sieber gets the rebound. And Brian gets it over to Viegas. Good defense there by Webb. She's going to come up with the steal. Casey Webb with a good defensive play there for the Panthers. I think Williams may have yeah. picked that. Long arm of the law there from 5'11", Amaya Williams. Able to get that block. Sieber double team. And they're going to say that was a blocking foul on Kenzie Hathaway, her first. That will bring Stricker and Hopper back in for Webb and McGrew. 3.04 to go here in the first half. Turnover There's there. a steal, good job. Viegas' second turnover since she's been in the game here in the last minute. Nice in high post pass from Hathaway down to Hopper, and she's going to be fouled by Williams. And that's number five, so that will send Hopper in the bonus now, are the Panthers. Or, oh, they already moved it. Okay. I was waiting for that four to turn to a five. They'd already moved it from a three, I guess. Brett Barron on the scoreboard tonight. He's quick. I guess. And that pass is going to go out of bounds there for another turnover. I have uh, 11 turnovers here for the Panthers. Of course, I have nine for the Cavaliers. So it's been kind of a back and forth uh, affair as far as turnovers go. Culver still has not scored here in this second quarter. It's 11-6 at the end of one. And another turnover for the Cavaliers. Pioneer not really, uh, you know, just lighting up the scoreboard either. They've only scored four here in the quarter. Hopper able to uh, get that one back, and Coach Barry is going to call a timeout. Not a good press break there by the Panthers, and Coach Barry is going to use a 30. We'll be right back. 
All right, 2.06 to go here in this first half. It'll be Pioneer Ball here on the near side. Stricker will trigger for the Panthers out of the timeout. Gets it in to McKaig. Left wing three, just short there for Mia. And there's number three. That will be Culver on the jump. Normally I couldn't tell you off the top of my head the jump ball count, but you got <laughs> me thinking about it tonight. I want a free year of RTC Wi-Fi if I... Uh... <laughs> you live in town. We don't cover town. That was, that was the joke. Yeah. If you move out and get uh, REMC, we can cover you. Three-pointer short. McKay gets the rebound. Blocking foul coming here on Viegas. That will be number five. That will send Stricker to the free throw line with the bonus. So she will get two shots. Off on the first. She was six for seven in the first game, but she's been kind of struggling from the free throw line the last couple games. See if she can get the second one to go. And she does. Ties it at 11. Right into the middle again. And, and this is where those offensive opportunities came from Culver. I'm a little surprised to see Coach Barry's probably going on a make here, try to try to get into the press, but I thought uh, at least this quarter that they've done a good job of just getting back, staying in their in their two three, and getting those opportunities. When they're having to get into it, they're giving up opportunities to the Cavaliers. Grace Sieber hits the three, puts the Cavaliers back out in front. Her first points, and it's the first points for the Cavaliers here in the second quarter. McKeg, right wing three off the mark. Williams, and she's going to get fouled on the rebound attempt by Hopper. That will be the first on Gracie Hopper. Team foul number four, so both teams will be in the bonus from here on out. One over to Viegas. Sieber on the run, nice pass inside. The shot is off the mark there by Davis. Stricker ahead, Lair. I don't know, did uh, I think she tipped that? You no, know, they're going to say not. She was coming out very fast, and of course Amaya has a really long reach, being 5'11". Coach Barry, I think, wants a tip, but not going to get it. So Kane is going to come in, as is McGrew for Lair and Stricker with 8.8 .8 to go here in this first half. Good screen there by Amaya Williams. She's going to put it up high off the glass. And that is going to do it here for the first half. The Culver Cavaliers lead 14 to 11. Here at John R. Nelson Gymnasium, we will take a break, get you some halftime stats when we come back, get ready for the third quarter here in just a moment on RTC TV4 and Culver TV tonight. We'll be right back. All right, we're getting ready here for quarter number three. And it will be the Panthers with the ball here to start us off. Once again, not an official throw-in spot. Unless that rule's wonky, too. Well, I think it depends on the, I know at halftime, I think it's different. Does the halftime go yeah. back to the normal? Yeah. Okay, left wing three, just off the mark. 
Rebound by rebound. Davis. Yeah, Davis with Her a nice board. Her fourth rebound of the, uh, of the evening. Uh, skip it back side. Starters back in for both squads. Hamilton does have those three fouls, so. Hamilton gets a screen from Williams. Back up top, Hamilton. Looks good. Yeah, just a little short. It was right on line. Stricker attacks against Hamilton. And they're going to say that was blocked out of bounds, so it will be Pioneer ball here on the right baseline. Good defense there by the Cavaliers. That was Sieber, I think, with the block. McKay gets a three, top of the wing. She has nine, and we are tied at 14. Panthers going to pick up full court. Back to the full court there, creating shot opportunities for Culver again. And, uh, Williams has got the bucket and the foul. Foul on Hopper, her second. I think the... The Panther defense is better than the Cavalier offense, or can at least stop the Cavalier offense. And it, and getting you know ball movements obviously you know detrimental to any uh, defense. But the Panthers keep getting in the press, having a hard time recovering, just creating shot opportunities for Culver, and we're right back to where we were at. Williams converts on the three-point play there, and yeah, it's the press not really working here for Coach Barry and the Panthers. I think maybe that's. Uh, Something we need to shelf for the time being. Sieber gets into the paint there. She misses the shot and the rebound to McKeg. Good recovery there by Williams. Another opportunity here. Hamilton with a run out. Good Smart recovery play there. there yep. Back up top, Sieber left wing, three short. McGrew gets the rebound for the Panthers. And she's going to throw it off of the yeah, leg good, of Sieber. Good call for the official standing behind that to see it. We were able to, we're right on top of it, saw it bounce off of her leg, but he was on the baseline still. 17-14, Culver in front by three. 6.04 to go here in quarter number three. Double team on Hathaway. It's going to go between Hopper's legs, and Sieber picks it up. Sieber one-on-one, -on -one and she's going to get fouled by McGrew. That'll be McGrew's first. That'll put Sieber at the free throw line, shooting two. It's just Sieber being a basketball player, knowing I can probably outrun this girl to the hoop, jump up whether it goes in or not. I'm going to try to draw something. Grace off on the first. I meant to ask you this earlier. What uh, I asked Mr. Pugh uh, this, our first game, what are your thoughts on uh, on the multicolored shoes? Uh, Davis with the rebound. I, it's girls, let them go. That uh, bad block out there by Stricker and Davis gets the offensive rebound off of the miss by Sieber and the uh, Cavaliers have another chance here as Davis will inbound on the far sideline. Oh, turnover there. And yeah, they finally able to get this steal. Knocked out of bounds, and it's gonna be Cavalier ball. So Kane, Webb, and Layer checking in here for Pioneer. 5.18 to go here in quarter number three, three-point lead for the Cavaliers with the ball. Pass over top, Sieber. Williams able to out battle for the rebound but loses control. Layer has it, gets it over to Stricker. Drive. Deep three. Yeah. 
Hamilton off the mark. Williams keeps it alive. And we got a foul coming here on the Panthers. I think Layer is going to get called for this one. That will be her first. Team's third here already in the quarter. Still 4.37 to go. Williams and Lair going to pick up another quick foul here as Williams is going to go to the free throw line shooting like two. That. I don't like that call. I think she was flat on her feet just doing her job. Williams made her first free throw, and I jinxed her off the mark on that one. One more here for the junior. Off the mark, Layer gets the rebound. So Williams misses both of there. Deep. Kane, three-pointer off the mark. Another rebound by Davis. Davis is a nice-looking freshman for the yeah. Cavaliers. I think she's yep. going to have a great career. Oh, Amaya Williams. Williams is going to be fouled by Webb from behind. That will send her back to the free throw line, and more importantly for the Cavaliers, they are now in the bonus. So they will be shooting two on every foul from here on out with 4.08 still to go in this quarter. Williams, though, after making her first free throw, has gone cold, missing the last three. These are critical free throws here for the Cavaliers. And she's able to put that in. I was set to text the cheer coach, make sure to not cheer while we're trying to shoot free throws, but then I remembered she fired me, so. <laughs> I don't know if that was tipped. No, they're going to say that was out of the, out off of Pioneer there. So Panthers going to pick up here again with this full court press. Been kind of an advantage for the Cavaliers, so we'll see. There's a steal, though. The uh, Panthers and a foul on, is that going to be Hamilton or Williams. Williams? Okay. That might be the first time all night that the, <laughs> that the press has worked out in favor of the Panthers. That's a good call. And that's going to be another one there. That's Williams' third. So she was doing pretty good with fouls, but now all of a sudden, Amaya Williams with three fouls. It's the uh, second team foul for Culver here in the quarter. Davis. That was close. Panthers can't get Wide it in open bounds. is O'Brien. Alexa O'Brien has 10. She hits a three, and that puts it to a seven-point lead here for the Cavaliers. Oh, that's got to be, wow, that's a lot of, Kane goes down hard. Result of the play there is going to be a foul on, yep, on Hamilton. That's number four on Hamilton, and she hit Kane pretty hard there, knocks her glasses off. Hopefully she's okay there. I don't know if they hit heads, but some pretty hard contact. Athletic trainer Joe Day standing by. Making sure she's okay. In the meantime, good ball movement by Pioneer. And a jump ball. Good defense there by Williams. So, ball will be turned over there on the jump. 15 turnovers for, 
Pressure coming here. 16, actually. Get the ball back to the middle, over to O'Brien. Oh, that's a double dribble, isn't it? Yeah, should have been. Yeah. Unless it was a crossover, it would look like a double dribble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a foul. And who are they going to get on this one? It's going to be on Davis. Nope, they're going to give it to Sieber. Sieber, her second. We'll send Stricker to the free throw line. She's two for four. And this is the first. One out of two, so she's three for six. She's got three, and it's a six-point Cavalier lead with 2.20 to go here in this third quarter. Ah. Shot off the mark, and uh, Stricker can't save it. The ball goes back over here to the Cavaliers. Yikes. There's almost a steal. Good defense there by Lois Lair. Davis a little nonchalant there uh, getting yeah. that pass. A little lazy. Some lazy passes. I was trying to be nice with the nonchalant, oh. but... Yeah. And backside pass there. Nice pass from Viegas to Williams, but she can't convert. Get her own rebound. Sieber. Sieber with the three. She's got six, and the lead is nine, largest of the game here for the Cavaliers. Oh, this is one of those golden moments. I think the clock didn't run or the clock got stopped. But because we didn't have a clock operator tonight, Principal Brett Barrett is running the clock, so get to give him grief for yeah. that. Looks like his handwriting that wrote the uh, assistant cheer coach, Justin Croy here. <laughs> he asked me about it. He was, he was very, you know, Inconspicuous, because he said, "There's a, uh, there's a. I put a roster up there for you," is what he said. <laughs> I was like, "Okay." Stricker gets the steal. And Good job foul. going to the basket there. Good it's job. Going to be making that move, knowing that yeah. the more aggressive I go into her here, the higher my chances are. I'm getting a call. Her, it's going to be her third. Put McKenna back at the free throw line here. She's struggling from the line here, three of six. Again, this is the first. Both teams missing some critical free throws here. And again, one out of two for Stricker. A minute 26 to go here in this third quarter. Back to the middle. Ooh, Williams, good job there. I thought she was going to take That's a big step over that half court line. Floater there Sieber by Sieber. Takes it to the paint. She's got five in the period, eight for the game now for Sieber. And the lead is 10. Their turnover there. Set something up here. Good skip pass over to Vegas. Good, good time out there by Coach Nice. I think that was that was uh, a wise decision. All right, we'll be right back. Back here at John R. Nelson Gymnasium, it is Culver 26, Pioneer 16, with 45.5 uh, to go here in quarter number three. Good quarter here for the Cavaliers. Extending out that uh, lead that was only three at the half. And 
Outscoring the Panthers by seven here in this third quarter. Eddie Cavs looking for one shot. Swing it back over. Swing it back over. No skip passes, just. Vegas foot on the line, rims in and out. Hathaway with the rebound for the Panthers. Six seconds to go. Steal by Viegas. And the time is going to run out, but a good play there to end that quarter with the steal for Giselle Viegas. After three, it is Culver 26, Pioneer 16. We'll be right back with quarter number four here from John R. Nelson Gymnasium. Welcome back here. 12-5, uh, to five, Culver outscores Pioneer there in the third quarter, now leading by 10, 26 to 16, as we start the fourth quarter here at John R. Nelson Gymnasium. Cavaliers trying to get their first conference win here against the Panthers. Looking for their third win of the season for Pioneer. They are trying to find their first win of the season. And they got a big hold to uh, come back from here. Travel. I had seven turnovers for Pioneer in that third quarter. That puts them up to 18. So now their turnovers are actually higher than their points scored. With that turnover, they now have 19 turnovers here for the game and only 16 points. Ah, Sieber, I think she would have been better off have, just to yeah. go up with that one there. She, she went, up with, with yeah. it, went up with it. Yeah, she uh, did a nice job of getting to the paint, then tries to kick it back out, and the uh, Cavaliers throw it away. Obviously, the Cavaliers down uh, personnel-wise this evening. No Brianna Schlemmer, and the big name not in the game tonight is Cassidy Banks. So Whitey Cavs getting it done. I think two of the two of the five girls here played three of the five girls played JV, I believe. At least two of the five. Good. Down on the post drive that thing. Nice uh, pass there, and Davis puts it in for two. That's a one dribble and go up. 12-point lead, largest of the game here for the Cavaliers. What? What was that? I think she was trying to throw it off of somebody's leg and just missed. See, we're getting back in the in the pressure. And creating shot opportunities. Diego's for two. Zell Viegas gets on the scoreboard with two. Nice job there by Culver. They are now up by 14. Ah. And Webb puts it in for two. Right place, right time. That's why you hustle to the basket. Good, cut back side. To, oh. Yep, yep. Vegas shuffles her feet there. Hathaway, shot might have been tipped there. Sieber gets the rebound. She gets her eyes up. She's got a couple girls here. She'll go. Sieber all the way to the basket. Can't get it. Williams re uh, offensive rebound. Another offensive yep, rebound another there by Davis. There. <laughs> 
Hamilton and Stricker back in for their respective squads. 5.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. Nice pass in. Ziegler misses but gets her own rebound, and she's going to get fouled on the second opportunity there. Sophomore Hannah Ziegler going to go to the free throw line. And Ziegler converts the first. Two for two for Ziegler. Cuts it back down to 10. Still time here for the Panthers, but they've got to get Travel. on the stick. Oh, it's off of Sieber. Turnover is a good defense there by Lois Layer forcing the turnover. I'd take a timeout here if I was Coach Neese. I would have I called a timeout there. Stricker looking for Ziegler, not able to get that in there. Slow it down. You don't need to force anything. It's okay. Regroup a little bit. You're all right. Nope. Good. Swing. Swing. Ah. It's not the... It's going to be last touched by Pioneer. Jocelyn King going to check back in. Good to see her. So she's going to come in for Stricker. Sieber got it. Three-pointer, Grace Sieber. She has 11, and the lead is back up to 13 here for the Cavaliers. Ooh. Knocked out of bounds. I think Sieber was the last one to touch it. Jump ball. Five, I'm still under. 3.57 to go here. Hmm. Still got one more, right? We got one said six. More, two more, technically, right? Well, I said six, yeah. It's just a push at, at six. No, I win for six. Oh, you, you got win. the over. Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. Got to be over six, yeah. Swing, just keep moving the ball around. Turn over there for Sieber. Defense there by Hathaway getting into that passing lane. Williams in the passing lane there, but dribbles it on the sideline, so it'll stay Pioneer ball. 3.18 to go. Sieber stumbles, regains her composure. Mm, good decision by Alexa O'Brien to pull it out. That one is short that time for O'Brien. Steal there Sieber, by... Sieber, good recovery. Getting back into the... That was Brooke Davis. Oh, was that Davis? That was Davis, yeah. Okay. Good, good timeout here. Davis, the... Uh, 5'6", freshman. She's taller than 5'6", though. There's no way. All right, timeout here called by Culver. We'll be right back. Welcome back here. The Cavaliers call a timeout with 2.45 to go here in the ballgame, leading 33-20 over Pioneer. So it will be Davis triggering here on the far side. And Lair going to get called for the foul. It's the first team foul of the quarter 
Third one on Lair. See how this plays out with the fouls and trying to win a game here. You know, you're down by 13. Usually you can get people into one and one situation, force them to make free throws or turn the ball over. What, how is this going to, this is the first real opportunity I've seen if a team have. No, good. Hamilton. Layer, and it's stolen right back by Sieber, and Layer is going to get called on the foul. So good defense there by Layer, but uh, even better defense there by Sieber. And that's uh, Layer's fourth foul. Second team foul on Pioneer. Travel. Davis uh, took off before she got the ball down and uh, gets called for the travel. Seven turnovers here for the Cavaliers in the fourth quarter. I've got them for uh, 12 after only having 10 there in the first half. But uh, Pioneer all continues to uh, give the ball back as Williams, boy, that was a nice rebound. Can't get it to go. Oh. And a foul coming, it looks like. They don't, they don't want me to mess Even up. Even if it's the wrong call, do I still have to accept it as the? Uh... Yeah, because it's not a jump ball, right? They called that on Hamilton. Hmm. That is her fifth. That's that's somewhat concerning. I thought if anything, that would have been on Davis. Was Hamilton even around there? I wasn't really looking to see who was there. Hey, she could have been. I could be wrong. Stricker hits from just inside the line. And Coach Berry calls a timeout. Cuts that lead to 11 for the Cavaliers. Be right back. So Coach Berry calls a timeout off of the make by Stricker. The Panthers still trail by 11 with a minute 35 to go. It'll be Cavalier ball with the length of the floor to go. Pioneer looking to pick up some full court pressure. So far the full court pressure has uh, not been totally ineffective but not been real effective either for Pioneer and that's gonna be a foul. Team foul number three for the Panthers. And that's gonna be on Jocelyn Kane, her first. That's pretty good, just her first foul. She's been playing some pretty aggressive defense, so doing a good job of playing strong, clean defense there by the freshman. Again, they're poked away by Lair. I really like these two freshmen for the Panthers. They are quick and tenacious defenders. Just got to work on their offensive stuff, and they'll be in pretty good shape. That's a foul. Layer pokes that one away, last touched by Layer, so it will be Culver Ball. Yeah, a lot of body there, wasn't there? Yeah, that one was, the first two were good. I was just thinking she picked the one clean over here to the sideline because she used her play, or her ball side hand to knock it out of bounds. They're not gonna call that. But when, you, when you're when you crossing somebody's body, that's when you get, get in trouble for a reach. Kane knocks that one out. She almost got the steal on the inbounds pass there and uh, gets the knocks out of O'Brien's hands. I would be inbounding to another part of the court or deep like that, yeah. Over at Davis. Wide open is Parker, the corner. She'll get it. Knocked away, last touch. Oh, Ooh. I thought maybe, okay. It was off a of Pioneer. There was a couple Cavaliers standing there, but apparently not touched by Culver. So it's back to Sieber. She's going to bring it across. Got a down, good pass there by Parker. Back up over to O'Brien. 47 seconds here, 11-point lead. Ooh, 
Wide open is Haley Parker. She's just trying to sneak through. Cut to the basket, Haley. One freshman, that, that that is a little bit over the top there. And that's going to be it for Lois Layers. That's foul number five on the freshman. So Lair will foul out with 30 seconds to go. She played phenomenal defense tonight for the Panthers. Yeah. Over and back, yeah. You could, I don't know, was that O'Brien as she threw the pass saying no, or was that Sieber uh, saying no? Sieber saying no, <laughs> but I don't, is, is that one of those you have to be established? Yeah, she didn't have feet down. Three-pointer by McKaig. Still a long ways to go here, but uh, Pioneer showing a little fight here with the last few plays. I think it's going to be a little bit too little, too late, but uh, we have a timeout here by Pioneer. Back here at John R. Nelson Gymnasium with only 24 seconds to go here. Culver going to pick up the win, but uh, Pioneer showing some fight here in the last few minutes. Got it down to eight, but... Uh, not many, uh, not many teams are going to score eight points here in 24 seconds. Seen Reggie Miller do it, but good job there by Sieber. Sieber going to bring it all the way across before she gets fouled. Seven seconds off the clock, so she's going to go to the line here as the Cavaliers are in the bonus. It's going to be a foul on Kane, her second. Sieber hits the first. Can't get the roll. Well. But the rebound goes out of bounds off Stricker. It's the first time I've ever seen the home team make noise while their girls shooting the free throw. Probably wouldn't have happened if Justin Crow was still the assistant to your coach. <laughs> oh, off of her face and hit her glasses, yeah. Oh, they're not going to call that a foul, are they? She hit the ball. She tipped the ball, and she there wasn't even close to her. I don't know. What did they call it? They what, called Jimmy? <laughs> For tipping the ball? Yeah, that's a bad call. Sorry she lost her glasses, but. Three-pointer. Oh, yes, and she did. Uh, Yeah. So that'll send McKaig to the free throw line, shooting three, hopefully this time. It's going to be on Amaya Williams, her fourth. Fourth team foul with 5.6 to go. In and out there for McKaig on the first one. Good on number two. One more coming here for the sophomore. Mia Are we McKay. sure? Are we sure? They're, yeah, they're was giving she, her one this time. Was she close enough to the line to get? Uh, <laughs> I'd be curious to see what happened on that one. I don't know. I think the weird part was the after the foul afterwards. Did that? Did that constitute like not being able to go back and redo that? Right. So the Cavs pick up the win here over Pioneer. Yeah.